ultimate uh, journey, ultimate day in uh, Italy here, and I'm racing with time doing this uh, sunset painting on the Tiber River, looking towards uh, Hadrian's Mausoleum and St. Peter's, and toward the, uh, the bridge, I don't recall the name of it right now. Yeah. And uh, it's a sunset view, and I knew the sunset was going to be setting there, and um, so I did this little uh, sketch, if you come in, and uh, this is even quicker than normal, but it's enough to get the placement. The main thing was getting the eye level down here so I could have these clouds. I'm inventing the clouds, so the clouds are a caprice, but uh, this is just a quick little sketch, but it's enough to get the placement of things in here. So, um, as you can see, I'm going to start uh, painting on the, on it here. Um, I'm switching to this uh, orangish color here because I want to continue that up into, up into here where the sun's breaking uh, through. The, uh, the value right and the composition of course but right now I'm just uh, blocking in, in values and uh, so like when I go back home I can uh, have everything kind of masked in as I, as I call it but one of the neat things about this uh, place here too as with the other ones along the Tiber River is uh, um, the fact that it's been painted by a lot of other painters that I'm Jerry Corot, who's the one that I've been mentioning before. And he did a wonderful view from right here uh, in the middle of the uh, early part of the 19th century, but the uh, riverbanks have changed a lot since then. They have these large promenades in here now, which weren't there then, so they offered a, a different kind of view. There was often boats in the foreground. So, uh, but I like the idea of uh, connecting with the, these other artists and uh, painting the same scenes that they had only in our time here. Got some cadmium orange in here to really try to push this uh, chroma and uh, color here. <coughs> I can get away with it uh, with a little bit of uh, cadmium yellow in here too. This is the that you kind of get this. Um, aura effect when the sun bleeds through there like that. And right up here is the angel. This must be, I'm not sure who it is, the Archangel Gabriel, or who it is, but it's called uh, Sant'Angelo. as it's called, had a campaign to put these up. And in each little uh, panel uh, is a, a poem by an ancient Roman poet, Ovid, Cicero, Pliny the Younger, etc., etc., these various Roman poets. Uh. So there's a bike path over here, and people walk over here. It's a relatively new thing. It wasn't here uh, when I first started painting Rome. Um, so they added like a little nice little element in there to uh, put those reflections in. I'm gonna go darker here now. I've only got about a, a half hour left of, uh, of light. I'm putting some uh, dioxazine purple and some uh, um, permanent rose in.
sky. I have to work on the sky here. This is the number 12 brush. Reflected sky, that is. And then I'm going to come in with my uh, fancy uh, uh, blending brush here in a second to do a, to blend a lot of areas. As I said in the other video, uh, I don't often do that, but I'm still going to do the fun of it here. In here. I want to get that in there, the, the building uh, reflected, and then there's St. Peter's reflection. And it kind of goes over here. And there's some plants in here, some trees. Okay. I'm going to go to the uh, soft blender here in just a minute, but uh, first I'll pop in some more um, really glowing uh, lights here to the uh, Get this uh, effect that it somehow here. Okay, I'm going to use my um, blending brush. If I can find it here. Here it is. And uh, the paints are just put on. Um, the clouds are, are great fun to do. Um, I, I've been looking at clouds for many years, so I can just kind of uh, make them up because I've just seen them in these kind of uh, positions, and it has a perspective uh, element here with the clouds going down towards the horizon. I wanted to get a little more uh, blue in there too, so I can uh, blend a little bit between the two areas. It's a little more paint there. The paint is dry. And the, another thing that the uh, softening does is it kind of uh, helps to lose the edges and create a, uh, a mystery uh, at different points so everything isn't uh, linear and, and defined. It becomes a little more uh, uh, soft and uh, diffuse so that the clouds become more vaporous. There's a new thing that happens with clouds up here. They'll be coming, uh, there'll be some saffron color added up there. That often happens when the, uh, the sun is catching the very tops of these high cumulus clouds. And I think I need a little more pigment in the uh, clouds too before I and, uh, this is Naples yellow. It's a very uh, useful color, sort of a new color for me because it's a, I discovered it, but what's neat about it is it's kind of a low tinting color. In other words, it doesn't have a lot of, uh, of uh, strength. It's a, a, a subtle color. I'm putting a lot on there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, blend. Light. It's a it's a neat word uh, that has the Italian equivalent of crepuscolo. It 
it's the same thing. Uh, light beams that happened at twilight is. Uh, That's all that I'm going to do for right now, so uh, I'll show you this painting later when I finish it up back in my studio in uh, Wailusa, Pennsylvania.